in the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall you welcome to another spirit filled message on christocentric message if you're new to this channel i would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well i would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth it's going to bless you Her graces are going to be imparted onto you and then god is going to visit your home thank you for watching stay blessed Without power, a time will come when this generation will stand openly and reject Jesus generationally. I'm not talking about individuals. People will stand up. You know the way there are movements, movements. A movement will stand up and say, our goal is to officially announce that as a generation, we have chosen to take Jesus out of our lives. Ah, but not when we are alive. Mm -mm. And I will not be silent. I will always worship you as long as, as long as I am breathing. I will always worship. Restore power. Restore healing power. Restore power that sets men free. Oh, before Jesus returns, there will be a restoration. I am telling you. The fathers prophesied it. Smith Wigglesworth said it. A. A. Allen said it. This great man said it. There has to be a restoration of authentic, genuine, spiritual power at a level and a frequency of mastery that can be a backing to the gospel. It was said that during the time of John G. Lake, Spokane was one of the cities with some of the healthiest people and manifestation of miracles because he had what we call healing rooms like dormitories and they would literally bring people there. He was accused of practicing medicine without license. Do you know the kind of audacity you would take? To bring a sick body and keep that person there and you gave the person 30 days within 30 days regardless what was wrong we talk about the God that turned the son backwards for Hezekiah we talk about the one who kept the son still for Joshua you know we talk about that person as if he's a different God as if he went on a long vacation then they gave us another inferior one please hear me we want to see the nation saved in one day it would take more than good speaking some of them do not even understand English It will take more than that. Thank God for welfare. Thank God for charity. Pipe born water, rice, sewing machine. Thank God for it. But if somebody is sick, he does not need a sewing machine. If there are demons that sit upon people's lives, please don't get me wrong. I don't downplay those things. Those things only give added value. When Jesus showed up, he didn't give physical gifts. He announced the kingdom with such a demonstration of power. He 
he healed the sick they brought him people in the night when it was evening he healed them cast out all the demons as can now give the nations to you oh lord that's the cry of my heart distant shores and the islands will see your life A demonstration of the power of God to a degree and a frequency that dumbfounds principalities and powers can I tell you the truth I know that many people downplay the place of the supernatural and the miraculous and then all these controversial miracles that are not spectacular enough Oh, headache was healed and someone is arguing with it and saying how are you sure it was a panadol you took in the morning or the prayer of the man of God because there is a realm of the miraculous called notable miracles miracles that consultants will say listen I have practiced medicine for 35 years I have not seen it in this fashion that a woman with no tubes whatsoever carrying triplets where did the baby stay one there is a machine that can check it a man who comes to church on a wheelchair carries his wheelchair by himself back home remember that man has neighbors and they said I said this morning you were crippled and he said I was glad when they said unto me let us go to the house of God how many billboards can announce like that how many posters can announce like that that Jesus is alive please hear me the darkness that is in this world today I am saying it again it will require more than just nice preaching more than having just a sincere heart i'm saying this because i believe there are many people here you are part of this mighty army my precious people hear me if god told the apostles to tarry you need to know why he gave them power he said you guys he spent three and a half years who teaches doctrine more than jesus who mentors a people more than the rabbi himself and he said i am confident of all i have given you but i submit to you is not enough tarry why will you still tarry every day was a lecture with jesus you know what it means to sit down in his presence full of the holy ghost receiving lectures for three and a half years i thought that would be enough for ministry he said tarry until you'll be endued with power we will keep giving flimsy explanations for the absence of power like it does not matter or it's not all about power of course it's not all about power but the role that power has to play nothing will replace it nothing will replace it do you know the confidence to do evangelism has died in many of you because there is no power to prove you don't know what you will go and tell the people that is the truth mama let's go to church and they'll say don't mind those those men of God who are fraudsters who will only come and collect money from you don't blame them until they see the display of God's power that someone walks in and while it is a I mean someone is coming on a crutch and the service has not even started and as soon as they come in look at the woman with the issue of blood the Bible says she touched the hem of his garment and said to herself if I may but touch if I may but touch the person talking to you has seen the grace of God to the glory of God but believe me it is it is child's play compared to where we are crying that God will help us get to because you see I don't know now I'm not saying you should I was I was looking for a particular video and then I stumbled across some kind of 
program or something like that that you know was on YouTube and it was a two minute video and I decided to watch it it was magicians magicians were doing something you know they were doing all kinds of things I don't know what they were doing but I kept looking with anger in my spirit not anger towards them anger towards our condition I said what in the world is this these people through whether through divination or astral practices have been able to access routes in the spirit and I say here we are shouting God is almighty shouting God is all-powerful do you know how many people who are following koinonia right now from various hospitals imagine you are a sick patient and you are listening to a man of God right now talking maybe you are listening on air what else will you be looking for what better platform for evangelism where you have unbelievers surrounding you is that not the greatest if you were God would that not be the greatest opportunity to get that person healed this thing is not working in our lives let's just be honest and submit with humility and start searching for the pathway that leads to authentic power rather than standing in pride and talking about our falling here and there that is not producing any potent result when I speak I speak with love and honor to the body but I submit to you we are joking we need to obtain grace from God. It's an uncomfortable truth. If we call one person who is blind now to come and stand here, one person who is on a wheelchair now to come and stand here, one person whose life and family is under yokes and curses, come and stand here, one person who has gone through all kinds of bodily deformities, come and stand here, another person come and stand here and we give you a bible as a man of god we say all right you claim that jesus is lord what else is a greater expression of darkness than this demonstrate the superiority of the life of god i like elijah prophets of baal let's meet at camel this thing we have to settle once and for all all these debates about the sovereignty of god no let's go to mount camel if god be god serve him if Baal be god serve him in one day a nation was brought to his knees by one man not one church not one nation one day one day and he said let's start with you call upon your god from morning till night oh bell hear us oh bell hear us oh bell hear us and nothing happened when it was the time of the evening sacrifice he said get out of the way now don't waste my time that is mastery that is not you don't guess with that kind of risk listen elijah was teaching us we all claim we're in the new testament and we say these guys are in the old testament but see what they did in the old testament we who are now fruits of the new testament let us demonstrate the superiority of what we stand on the bible says it was founded upon better promises and please do not say the bodies of men do not matter because jesus died in the flesh the same grace that saves is the same grace that heals the same grace that delivers when he blesses he blesses holistically spirit soul and body tonight's teaching is a wake-up call it's a wake-up call and we called upon the God of heaven the Bible says fire came and licked the entire thing burnt everything and they killed the prophets of Baal how about Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego? How long did it take Babylon to submit to the Lordship of Jehovah? One day, one spectacular encounter. A day will come we'll step our feet across nations and they reject the gospel and will tell them you rejected light and darkness will suddenly appear physical darkness as proof that they have rejected the gospel that is a sermon greater than any oratory and people will run and say come show us the way of the Lord if it is true that Jesus is coming soon I submit to you 
the rate at which we are winning the world the November statistics of the world says we are 8 billion people and counting Christianity practicing faith including backsliders including unserious people all together professing Christians were about 2.6 billion out of how many over 2,000 years this is what we have achieved the Bible called a few people these are they that turned the world upside down there needs to be a spectacular manifestation of the hand of God Go and read about the Azusa Street Revival. Go and read about the Wealth Revival. Go and read about men like John Knox. Go and read about men like E.M. Bounds, Charles G. Feeney. Go and read about these great men. Believe me, it was when you see these things written in history, they are not empty talks. They were written for our learning. Man of God, something is wrong with your spiritual life if this message is not challenging you. A few of us that it looks like God has helped a bit. We are the ones that people have to make do with. Relative to what can be, what is there. There was a video I watched years ago. About a river somewhere, please sit down. A river somewhere in the east. That suddenly appeared also. I, I don't know if it's verified, but I mean it's, it's one time. And it was purported that it had some healing power and it was recorded and people were jumping and diving into it even while they were recording them they were not ashamed because it seemed to carry a semblance there were thousands of people it looked like a market square a river that cannot speak a river that cannot preach a river that did not have a keyboardist a river that does not give honorarium or take honorarium it only there was a a, 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 a statement that it could heal and people came from everywhere. Let me tell you the truth. Jesus would have been surprised if the only thing he brought is a salmon. Repent for the kingdom is at hand. Is that what your Bible says he did? No. He started, he announced himself with a spectacular demonstration of the miraculous. Then he now calmed the people down and said, come to the mountain. And then he now started teaching them. They didn't exactly believe, but could they argue? He said, even if you don't believe me, believe me for the work's sake. And then the ultimate of that power was when he died. Went to Hades, collected the keys, and on the third day he rose again. Nothing could bring him down. And he resurrected by the power of the Spirit. And said all hail all authority in heaven and in earth has been given unto me he says go go have we truly been obedient let me tell you the truth evangelism is not something you just encourage people to do evangelism is a product of conviction when people see the authentic manifestation of power how many of you right now if we announce that in koinonia we are giving 50 50 000 tomorrow no announcement on social media that's the condition don't announce anything on social media but we're giving 50 50 000 for instance tomorrow you will see strategies of publicity you have never known the human brain can invent that is because they, there is an assurance that 50 000 is on ground a family of 10 can say let's quickly come because that's 500 naira that's rent people would travel by 2 a.m and come and wait patiently sun too small a reason rain too small a reason for 50,000 so when you tell people that Jesus is here he saves he heals he delivers they will first drag themselves and say let's let's watch and see what happens at the end of it you share the grace they say I knew it I knew that is this nonsense that will waste my time again the next time you invite them they will say pray for us it's already a message it's a it's a it's a shorthand form of a long writing that says you are wasting my time and I'm not prepared to go and waste my time in that place again I pray that God will do something to me to you to koinonia and to the body of Christ to restore genuine and authentic power
the world is not prepared for our excuses the Bible says I reckon Romans chapter 8 I reckon that the sufferings of this time is not worthy to be compared with the glory that shall be revealed in us it says for the endless expectation of the creature waited for the manifestation of the sons of God creation was subject to the bondage of corruption not willingly but by reason of Adam the one who subjected him that they are waiting to come into the glorious liberty of the sons this is the power of God let the blind see let the deaf hear let the crippled be healed let people with all kinds of demonic situations imagine a family comes and you tell them in the name of Jesus the gates of this family is open and right as you are prophesying somebody calls at home and says I don't know but someone just came and gave us two million he said God sent him where are you right now you say I'm in church what is the man of God saying he's just declaring he said you better stay there no amount of billboard poster internet advert will replace the demonstration of the authentic power of Jesus Christ authentic power of Jesus Christ the prophet said by this time tomorrow tomorrow it happened little children have you any catch no cast your net to the right side end of discussion they caught so much fish Do you know I look at so many believers and I see the way I hate seeing people suffering it is not just because it is my call every time I see this I immediately take responsibility remember my vision that I shared with you of years ago no food no water who is the cause that was a whole generation speaking sometimes I'm not an emotional person ordinarily honestly I've seen all kinds of things and sometimes I even ask myself whether I'm all right. Is it that you don't cry? Can't you? I'm, I'm, it doesn't mean I'm not touched, but I can just stand like a stone there. But let me tell you sincerely, you want to see tears from my eyes? Let me see oppression and God's people being reduced to become like Noah animals, spiritually, financially, and, in, and otherwise. That one has triggered compassion. I can cry and weep like a baby. Do you know what it means to see a family of five people, six people on their way to church? No money, no food, but they love Jesus. And you say they don't have faith? What is your definition of faith? I want to prophesy and they kneel down with their hands open, expecting to receive. And at the end of it, we share the grace. One year becomes two years, becomes five years, and absolutely nothing happened what of family members who say apostle I hear you know people send me text messages and sometimes they say apostle I've heard the mighty things that God is doing with you if you can only speak the word I know my mother or my brother and sometimes I, I take that body and I say Lord these people believe in me and they believe in you help me to stop disappointing you let there be a higher level of power and a higher level of grace The day you meet your father they've been laughing at you and say you are a, I hear that you are going to be a man of God say my friend go and look for a job wait go and buy federal government form and look for a job ministry that is full of failures and you look at your father and say daddy you have been on this bed for five years I come in the name of the Lord I am your son but I come by the authority of the one who has sent me stand up and your father stands up and begins to walk around the compound what happened Jesus healed what happened Jesus delivered what happened Jesus saved. it's a different thing to say ah God healed somebody somewhere and the person says I am healed people will easily be able to doubt this is a generation that wants to see the power of God not just here you can doubt what you hear, but you cannot doubt what you see. Is God speaking to someone tonight? In one minute before I continue, I want you to lay your hands on your head. 
and say Lord I am available trust me with higher levels of your power trust me with higher levels of your grace someone is praying you are crying to the God of heaven higher levels of your power higher levels of your grace there needs to be results 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 in my life results in my Christian experience results demonstrations that Jesus is alive winning nations in a moment by the power of his word backed up by authentic genuine superior spiritual power in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus I've read a few books about the saints past and mighty men and women of God. And I have seen God move through their lives in very mighty and spectacular ways. Not just in the area of healing, but bringing genuine breakthrough, genuine transformation whole families translated from the kingdom of darkness to the kingdom of his son let me tell you the truth i have seen whole families saved non-christian families beginning from maybe someone in the family and then father mother sisters brothers we are not speaking from a standpoint of weakness we are speaking from a standpoint of higher levels of hunger for more that yesterday's anointing cannot suffice for today's challenges. There needs to be a higher level and a higher dimension of God's grace. There are nations today that were revival hubs, but today they have become a historic monument, sites where people go there to just feel bad and say, God, you once moved here. There are nations and continents that if you wanted to see what God was doing, you would have to travel to those regions. Today, when you go there, all you see are grave sites, monuments that once upon a time, God moved. By this teaching, the Spirit of God is hovering around the earth again one last time saying anyone who is available anyone doesn't matter what family you are coming from anyone who is available does not matter who knows you or who does not know you whether you are male or female anyone preacher i know you don't speak well but anyone anyone who thirsts he says in the third day that great day of the feast he said anyone who thirsts, come let him come it's an invitation blessed be the man that god causes to approach him come For someone, God is calling you. You came to church tonight and God is saying, I'm extending an invitation. The dreams that you saw does not have to end as dreams. Apostle, I saw Smith Wigglesworth. That's not enough. Telling the world you saw him is not what they want. When Elisha carried the mantle of Elijah, the sons of the prophet said, the spirit of Elijah doth rest upon Elisha. Saving nations in one day, bringing territories to the obedience of Christ in one day, in one moment, in one encounter. We don't have the time to go city by city again. The time is near. We don't have the time to go conference by conference again taking regions and taking nations by the power and the fire of Jesus.
Aleluya. Please write if you can. Let me share with you three platforms for accessing superior levels of the power of God and then we'll pray. Ah. Someone God brought you to church to plant a fire that will not die soon. Mm. This fire that is coming upon you is not planning to leave you soon. It will burn everything until you become an inferno of fire. There are men and women that will rise up in this end time from a standpoint of power you will not even know who is male and female again there will be people carrying authentic power authentic power authentic power authentic power we will fade away this this era of faking miracles this era of stage managing all kinds of things and introduce something authentic to the world again intellectualism and philosophy oh let the power of God come again come upon this generation Maranatha let your power come come upon our homes come upon our families come upon our pulpits come upon our churches Maranatha, come, come, oh God, come, oh God, let your name not be to a reproach, come, oh God, visit families again, come, oh God, visit Africa again, come, oh God. Visit Nigeria again. Come, oh God. Visit the West again. Visit the East again. Visit the South South again. Visit the North again. Pray one minute and say, Lord, visit again. Visit again. Visit again. Don't tell me Apostle Babalola's story. He has gone. Visit us again. Don't tell me about Archbishop Benson Itahosa. He has joined the cloud of witnesses. Visit again, oh God. Don't tell me about Catherine Kuhlman. Don't tell me about Emmy Temple McPherson. Visit again, oh God. Let history be rewritten. Someone pray. Someone pray. Someone pray. Revive us again. Shabakata Katosketea. Visit again. Visit again. In your power. Visit again. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Three platforms. Please write. The nations will see again before he comes not everybody is playing games the nations will see again for the sake of one person a family will see Jesus again oh yes for the sake of someone who is in this crowd for the sake of someone in the overflows for the sake of someone watching by television for your sake he will come again Hallelujah. Two years ago, I was preparing for a meeting in Lagos and I had a vision. There was a denomination in this nation, I will not mention the name. 
that there was once a mighty and a great move of God across that denomination and for a while it looked like things faded away while I was praying and preparing for that meeting I saw light from heaven just returning back to that denomination and God told me that for the sake of the founding fathers that he is about to start raising genuine sons ordinary men trained by the spirit and he will empower them in such a way let me submit to you the people carrying authentic power are not yet in manifestation they are still in training believe me when i tell you thank god for what you are seeing but i'm telling you prophetically i have seen it there is going to be an emergence of power like you have not seen three platforms help us tonight oh god if this message does not touch you it's a sign that you are not serious with god and it's a sign that you are not interested in the program of god number one the first biblical platform that helps men access superior power to demonstrate and validate that Jesus is alive and to be able to be a revelation of his life and power to the nations the first platform is an encounter with the spirit of power please write it down ah. encounter with the spirit of power please write it down Micah chapter 3 and verse 8 hallelujah thine the glory hallelujah amen hallelujah thine the glory revive us I want to know I want to hear your voice. I want to know you, Lord. I want to touch you. I want to see your face. I want to know God is taking us to want to know hallelujah please hear me if you're a medical personnel here I want you to listen there is an outpouring that is coming on people who are medically related there is a reason why you see the study of medicine is not an academic issue at all please help our medical stand my God look what is happening there in the name of Jesus Christ doctor if the only thing you can give is injection and drugs you may not do much in this end time because there has to be power upon your hands more than the syringe there has to be strange manifestation in our hospitals resurrections from the dead healings miracles that you lay hands and dry away cancer lay hands dry away all kinds of demonic things hear me if you are called into the medical field i am telling you there is an anointing an end time anointing that is looking for you medical doctors lab attendants all kinds of people nurses midwives that a woman is about to lose her baby and you are on duty you will just stop that lab coat and carry your priestly regalia in the name of Jesus, I command supernatural delivery. A 
an encounter please sit down if you can with the spirit of power Micah chapter 3 and verse 8 but truly I am full of power by the spirit of the Lord it is the Holy Spirit that empowers men please look up respectfully speaking bottles don't anoint water does not anoint handkerchiefs and mantles don't anoint until an anointed person anoints them to be a point of contact so idolizing a bottle a handkerchief an apron a, a, you can have 30 bottles of oil in your house it will not produce anything until an anointed man anoints it as a medium if it, if it is done within the boundary of scripture we keep making a fool of ourselves placing our faith in mediums and look, looking away from the spirit of God it says the spirit of the Lord is upon me because he hath anointed me if your anointing is without the presence of the spirit something is wrong with that impartation the Holy Spirit is the exclusive custodian of the power of God the administration of spiritual power resides within the office of the Holy Spirit when there was creation to be done in Genesis 1 he was the first of the Godhead to be revealed is someone learning 2 Timothy 1 verse 7 an encounter with the spirit of power there is a dimension of the revelation of the Holy Spirit called the spirit of power it says for God had not given us the spirit of fear but the spirit of power the spirit of love these are all dimensions of the same Holy Spirit you can encounter the spirit of wisdom but have you encountered the spirit of power how shall these things be Mary said seeing that I know not a man he said the power of the highest shall overshadow you how shall nations be saved 2.6 billion compared to 8 billion people and growing let me tell you the truth at the rate at which we are going even if another thousand years is added we will not be able to cover the globe but when the power of the Holy Spirit comes into that equation believe me when I tell you nations will be saved in one day because God will create spectacular events that will bring nations to their knees one miracle in Gadara brought ten cities to Jesus ten ten cities one woman at the well brought so many people to Jesus an encounter with the spirit of power the Holy Spirit can reveal himself as a spirit of power but listen to me there are two conditions to have an encounter with this dimension of the spirit's power listen carefully number one I have taught you you want encounters encounters are sponsored by the genuineness of your heart condition please write it under point one forget about genuine spiritual encounters when your heart is not right with God the heart condition we are not talking of perfection we are talking of sincerity and hunger Jeremiah 17 and verse 10 a few scriptures very quickly Jeremiah 17 and verse 10 17 10 I the Lord search the heart I try the reins to give every man according to his ways not according to his desire according to his ways when you seek the Lord with your heart then you will find him Jeremiah 29 13 29 13 same Jeremiah the heart condition the first puzzle that must be solved if you desire an encounter with the Spirit of God even the Spirit of power you shall seek me and find me when you search for me with all your heart you can search for me with your mind you can search for me with your ego but it is when you search for me with all your heart 
Lord, it is either you or nothing. I love the song that the worship team sang. It is either you or nothing. Hello, beloved in Christ. We hope this message was a blessing to you. I would want you to do something for us. If you are new here, kindly hit on that subscribe button for us. And then like this video as well. Share to your family and friends to bless them. Because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body, to their soul, and to their spirit. We would need you to do one thing for us too. Tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from. And then if you've got any testimony for us, kindly share with us. Thank you for watching.